Hi, I'm James Ward, a developer evangelist at Heroku. I wanted to give you a quick introduction about how you can run Java applications on Heroku. Heroku is a cloud application platform that lets you instantly deploy your applications to the cloud and then scale and manage those applications. So let's see how you do that with a Java web application. I've used Spring Root to create a sample application that uses Spring MVC and Hibernate. And then I've also done a few other things. On Heroku, you bring your application server with you, and I've chosen to use Embedded Jetty uh, as my application server. And so I have a, a, a main class here, and what this does is it bootstraps the Embedded Jetty in my application. So very simple. And then everything else is just the standard Java web application. I have my WebInf, the WebXML, the Spring configuration, all the, the standard stuff. I also have the Maven build, and in this Maven build, I'm using this App Assembler Maven plugin to actually generate a script uh, for that main class that will set up the class path and do all that stuff for me. So what that allows me to do is in a proc file uh, where I map the web process for Heroku to run to an actual command, I'm going to use that generated web app script that got created from that App Assembler plugin. So let's try to run this locally so you can verify that it works. So there we go, we're starting the embedded jetty and starting the application, we're all good to go. So now let's go check that out in our browser with localhost 8080. And there we go, we can go list all the pets in my database. I can go create a new pet. Let's go um, create a new cat here and save that and list the pets. So the application's working fine, that's great. So now let's take this application and actually run it on the cloud with Heroku. So the way that I do that is I have a Git repository for this application. So all the source code is already in a Git repository. And I'm going to use the Heroku command line client, which you can get from the Heroku website. And I'm going to create a new application using the Cedar stack. Cedar is the, the version of Heroku that supports Java. So now it's creating for me an application. It's giving me a randomly generated name. So this High Meadow uh, name is, is generated. I could, of course, give it my own name or give it my own domain name. Uh, but it's also created a Git repository. And Git is how we'll actually upload this application to Heroku. So let's do that. I'm going to say Heroku push and or git push Heroku. So I'm sending uh, the files in this Git repository to this Heroku git uh, remote repository and I'm going to send the master branch of my application up there. So now this will actually upload all of my source files up to Heroku and when Heroku gets all those files it'll actually now uh, run Maven on Heroku and compile this application. So it's going to pull down all the dependencies for this application. So, uh, so everything uh, doesn't have to be uploaded by me in my Git repository. All the dependencies will, will be downloaded uh, on the Heroku side. So this makes it really fast to deploy this application. Uh, if I were to create a WAR file for this application, it would take a lot longer to upload this up to Heroku. So now Hero Heroku is pulling down all the dependencies. Uh, and uh, once those are pulled down, what it will actually do is compile this application on Heroku and create what's called a slug. And the slug on Heroku uh, allows us to, to really quickly scale this application. So the slug will run on what are called dynos. So every time we want a new instance of our web application, we can create new dynos and, uh, and the slug just gets copied onto those dynos. So there we go. Uh, our application is up and running on Heroku. Let's go try it out. So now it's compiling the JSPs, just like we had to do locally, compiling those on Heroku. Uh, one thing that, that you may have noticed is this application is using Hibernate in a database. But Heroku will actually provision a database for me automatically every time I create an application. So this will automatically be able to connect to that, uh, that database on Heroku. So there we go, it's all compiled, and now we can list all the pets, and I don't have any pets yet in the database that's up on Heroku, so let's go uh, create a new pet here, and um, save that to the database, and there we go. You'll see that everything's working, uh, but this time running on the cloud on Heroku. 
Now let's say we want to scale this application up. We're getting a lot of requests, a lot of people adding their pets into the pet clinic. So to do that, we just say Heroku scale web equals two, and that will now start up another dyno with my application running on it. And I can verify this with the Heroku PS command and see uh, that we've got one that's been uh, running for 42 seconds. We've got a second one that's, uh, that's still starting up there. Um, let's do a Heroku logs minus T and uh, see all the output that's going into uh, Heroku's logplex system. So all the output from all the dynos and the routing layer and everything uh, gets routed to, uh, all the logging gets routed to this logplex and then we have one central place where we can get all the logging information. So let's go back to our browser now and reload this application, reload this page, and what we'll see here when this page loads, we're getting all these requests being routed in, but one of the things that we'll see is that the dyno that these are being routed to uh, is actually, it's actually load balancing automatically between those two instances of my application. So this makes it really easy for me to scale out my application as my needs grow. So that's how you deploy Java web applications on the cloud with Heroku. Uh, as a developer, you can go sign up at heroku.com and every application that you get uh, has 750 free dyno hours. So that means you can run essentially one dyno for free uh, um, every month and not have to pay anything. Uh, it's only when you use more dyno hours than that that you have to pay. So I encourage you to, to check out uh, heroku.com and, and the Heroku Dev Center, heroku.com slash java, uh, to get started running Java applications on the cloud. Thanks for watching.